Okay, guys, we have ourselves a survivor, a true survivor, a German-made Porsche 944. And this thing here is very clean. There's very little damage. And I mean, like, nicks and scrapes from, like, road wear. These rims, I thought, was pretty much throwback. No shine to them. Just a bland type of look, but they s serve the purpose, you know. There's no information on this car as of yet. This was a, a newer arrival, but this thing is really nice. As we look in through the passenger side window, you see the seat. Dashboard is still intact, looking good. Gear shifter. Center console, air conditioning, climate control, hey. headliner, still in great condition. Roof is in excellent condition. The glass, everything, right down to the door for the fuel. You even got that old-fashioned flap right there. Everything is wonderful on this car, man. 944 Porsche. Cars are featured in video games. They're featured in movies. Everybody and their mama had one. Back in the day, they was ex very accessible to get. Porsche was building them because they were trying to make cars and sell them here in America. And they did it. These things were everywhere. Everywhere. And all colors, too. Especially this really nice black. And uh, like, like I said, seat got a little bit of a tear on it, but you can fix that. Yeah. You got gears to bang, man. You got gears to bang. I think that's a five speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're interested, drop a comment down below. I'm going to try to find out what I can on here. Or I'm also going to leave contact information in this video for you guys. In case you like it, it's sitting here at Crete, Illinois. Gateway Classic Cars. Be sure to drop them a call. Okay, guys, here we got a 1999 Trans Am. And this thing has got T-tops. It's clean. It's got that beautiful look, beautiful glare, nice paint, nice torque rims, everything that you could like, it's got. And the interior is real nice. Back bench for little kids and packages. Nice driver's seat and it's got six gears. That's right, fellas. Six gears the bang. <laughs> oh yeah. What's that? A buck sixty on the speedometer? <laughs> yeah, this thing is meant for rolling. But Pontiac was about excitement. And that's what they built, excitement. And uh, when they were in existence, way to go, General Motors. Way to go. You took out one of the better builders. <laughs> but this here thing is a true testament of time. It survived. Even though it's been driven, but it still looks so good. You know, with the honeycomb tail lights, you got your quad tips in the back. This thing is great. And not a scratch on it. I checked it out. Not a scratch on it. This thing is great. We're going to the passenger side. Let's get another good look at that center. Gear shifter. Armrest. Passenger side seat is great looking. Back bench for those who can put a midget back there. 
dashboard, everything's clean. Carpet, everything's clean. Everything's clean. So, as we look at the informational board, 99 Pontiac Trans Am Firebird, 5.7 V8, silver with black interior. You see the mileage on here, it's actual mileage, and you see the price. Sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars, pre-Illinois, I'll be sure to leave a contact for you guys if you're interested. Okay guys, we got a 2005 Roche Mustang, and this is a stage three. Right now, we don't have any specs or pricing for it. I have to come back and get that for you guys. We're we'll gonna make the video on this car. This is a very nice 05. I went over the car, didn't find any scratches, any dings, any marks. Love the color on these louvers on the side. All blends in. You know, this is a very, very nice 05. And the thing about it, oh yeah, I forgot. There's your stage three, right on the back. This thing is, this thing's really nice, you know. But you know, the thing between Roche and Saline and everybody else that does these aftermarket builds on these cars, Roche always seemed to have the nicest one, you know. I guess that's why they were so highly sought after when Roche did it. But you got other ones that's catching up. And then you got Saline and uh, RTR. But this one here is very nice. Well done by Roche. And it has survived since, what, 2005? For some reason I want to keep saying 1985, but no, 2005. This thing here is very clean. Somebody took really good care of it. Really good care of this car. We're going to look in on the passenger side. As you guys can see, of course, there's a back bench, but who's going to sit back there, you or me? Nah, just packages of little small kids. Do you have the custom side? dashboard so you go into your console center console and then you got that big old knob there for shifting six gears you get the bang on the floor <laughs> that's really nice we're gonna do the driver side as i was saying guys you got the back bench who cares <laughs> driver side seat is nice They're yeah, very clean in here, guys. Very, very clean. The pedals. Yeah. Nice car, man. I'm sure this thing is fast for it to be a stage three. But it's sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. As soon as they get the information on this thing, I'll be sure to find out, uh, drop it in the comments down below, you know. But if you guys like it, drop a comment. I'll see how fast we can get the information, and I'll leave you information on this, or at least contact number. All right, guys.